The DJI Mavic 3 was released on November 5th, but it quickly became one of the most hated drones ever. Us, the early testers and reviewers, launched kind of positive reviews and comparisons out, but we of course had to wait for people's reactions. People started smashing the drone, complaining about an unfinished product, overpriced and not being innovative. A lot has been talked in the past weeks about firmware updates, a so-so telelens, and in my past livestream I've been really getting a closer feeling that people are not just unhappy, but they are actually considering even buying another brand. By the way, 40% said they would, yes, consider buying an hotel, which is huge. And this is really worrying. And then I thought, you know what, just let me ask some of the big names in the drone niche, the drone YouTubers, just one single question. Why do you think there is so much hate against the Mavic 3? Simple question, yet very, very interesting what you're about to listen to. As I'm recording this intro, I have not yet seen or watched the videos that they sent me in. However, I'll also give my own opinion at the end of this video. So huge thank you to the guys that took the time doing a video, sending it to me, and some of them I didn't know, some of them I never contacted. It's been a pleasure, thanks a lot, and of course, all of their channels are included in the description. Nothing really else to say, I really hope that you enjoy this premiere. Let's go. Hi, I'm Young. Hi, Alex. Russ here from 51 Drones. Hey, Alex, thank you for having me. Hi, Alex, como estas, amigo? Huge thanks to Alex for having me here on his channel to discuss the Mavic 3. Hi, Alex. Russ here from 51 Drones, and I think there are several reasons why the Mavic 3 has been getting so much negative press since it was released, but I'm gonna tell you the three reasons that I think it's getting so much hate. Number one, the expectations were set so far ahead of time for the average flyer, for the hobbyist, for the consumer, like there were so many specs and photos and just everything that just kept bombarding us. And so all of the hobbyists were like, hey, I can't wait to get rid of my Mavic 2 Pro or my Mavic Air 2 and spend a few more dollars and get into the Mavic 3. But the problem is when it was released and we saw the pricing, I think most people realize that, oh, this isn't a consumer drone. This is a prosumer drone. And I was not expecting that. So I think that's number one. Number two, it is a prosumer drone, but yet it runs on the DJI Fly app. And that just does not make sense to me. Like. It should have been DJI Go 4, or maybe develop a new app to go along with the Mavic 3, but they don't go together. This is a consumer level program app that runs a prosumer drone, and that just doesn't make sense. And then thirdly, and most importantly, by far, and I think everyone else is gonna say this as well, they released this drone before it was fully ready. Like we're waiting for some firmware updates, and I get it, some things happen like a couple weeks after a release, that's normal. But this is two months out before we're gonna see some of the most important features being available on this drone. So people are like, why would I buy a drone if I can't even use half of the things that are available on it? So that's bringing a lot of negativity as well. So why they made these decisions, I have no idea. I don't run a billion dollar, multi-billion dollar company. So I don't get to make those decisions, but maybe someday I will and I can make those kinds of decisions. So anyway, thanks for having me on, Alex, and I can't wait to see what everyone else thinks. That is a great question, Alex, but you know what? I don't think that people really hate this drone. What they hate is how it's priced. And the reason for that might be two things. One of them is because they call this thing Mavic. And when you say that, automatically you create an expectation on people. And right now, that expectation, not only in features, but also in price, is completely disconnected. If you create a product that is called Mavic and you put it under the consumer category, people would expect something in the range of the 18 or 20 hundred, something like that. But if you create a product that is about 4,000, if you can get the Fly More Combo or the 5,000, if you get the Cine, people are completely pissed off like it's happening right now. So I don't think it's a question of the drone itself. The drone is amazing. The camera is awesome. And we have seen only the tip of the iceberg, but it's the disconnection in the expectation of the public what I think is wrong this time. So I was asked the question, why do people hate Mavic 3 so much? And to be honest, I don't hate Mavic 3 at all. I just think it's a little bit pricey for what I do. For me, I'm still using Air 2 and I haven't had a need to actually upgrade any further because I do find Air 2 still 
very sufficient, more than sufficient for my use as a small content creator. And if you compare the price between Mavic 3, Air 2S and Mini 2, then you can really see the price range is so different and if any content creator asked me what drone I would recommend, I would definitely recommend either Mini 2 or Air 2S because I think the price range is just perfect. So I guess DJI is not targeting Mavic 3 to small to moderate content creator like me perhaps. Thank you very much for inviting me to your video. I am Tarcicio Sañudo of Mexico, my channel is Post and Fly, and at this time I think there are many bad decisions of DJI that are related to this kind of hate. And one is this, the remote controller. I don't understand how they put the same controller in the normal and the normal combo version, because this is an amazing remote control, I use it a lot, but you are talking about the Mavic 3, you don't even change the color to match with the drone, we don't have more buttons, there are re really important buttons that we need, we, we need another wheel, so yeah, we have a, 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 a explorer mode, we need a wheel, with that price you have to give something different. There's another thing that yeah, for me, was really disappointing because uh, is uh, is the firmware is that we don't have hyperlapses, panoramas, active track. For me, hyperlapses is a very important thing. I have been doing it since the Mavic 2 Pro, so I was very excited to test in a camera so great that the camera that the Mavic 3 has with the hyperlapses. So yeah, if you don't have the product ready, don't launch it. I understand there is many <laughs> millions of dollars in game, but you can wait and do it next year. I think that was a bad decision because you are like, like entering with a drone that is in a really, really high price. You need to do better in that kind of things. You have to uh, at least have it in the 95% ready. And there is another thing that I think is not a problem of DJI and is the evolution, the evolution of the Mavic series. If we remember five years ago when the Mavic Pro arrived, it was an incredible drone, but it was not a professional drone. Yeah, it, it, it has a, a nice camera, 4K, it, it, it's a really good drone, but it, it was not competition with the Phantom 4, with Inspire, no, but many people start to fly drones because of the Mavic Pro. A lot of people just uh, fly drones as a hobby. So when the Mavic 2 Pro came, it was a little bit more expensive, but with an amazing camera that now you can use it professionally. It's a drone that I use it a lot professionally, and for me, it's a game changer. So yeah, many people is angry because they thought that the, the Mavic 3 will be similar in price than the Mavic 2 Pro. But we have to understand that the camera and many other things is a really, really big update. But I want to say this, the Mavic 3 is amazing for me is the best drone that I could have. It's a drone that is really, for me, a sub 900 grams drone with these capabilities is the best tool that I could have today. Hardware is there and it's incredible, but there are many work to do in the firmware and yeah, the remote controller, ¿Qué pasó de JI? Esto sí, de verdad, no entiendo cómo lo pudiste hacer. So, subtitles, please. So, that's all. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you to your audience and my fellow YouTube creators. It's an honor to be in the same video. Ciao. Hey there, everyone. How's it going? My name is Billy Kyle, and a huge thanks to Alex for having me here on his channel to discuss the Mavic 3. Now, I just got back in after a very long and cold night of flying these three drones, the Air 2S, the Mavic 2 Pro, and the Mavic 3. And tonight, more than other times that I've flown these three drones, I felt incredibly spoiled by the Mavic 3. It's got better range, it's got a better signal, it's got better performance, it can handle the wind better, it's got a better camera, it's got longer flight time, it's got better obstacle avoidance. I mean, the Mavic 3 is obviously the best drone on this table, but like, is it $2,200 better than these other drones, the Mavic 2 Pro and the Air 2S? So as soon as Alex came to me and said, hey, let's team up, let's collab for a video, I want to kind of get some other people's opinions on the hate surrounding the Mavic 3 because there are some people mentioning some things they don't like about this drone. The first thing that came to mind was the price tag of the Mavic 3. Now, I think that you have to remember that the Inspire and the Phantom, which were like at the top of DJI's drone lineup, haven't been updated in four, five, six 
six years. Honestly, I've lost count. So now the Mavic 3 has kind of entered that top spot as the go-to professional level drone. Like right now, if I'm somebody that's going to be picking up a drone for professional aerial video or aerial photo, I'm choosing the Mavic 3. The Mavic 3 has almost entered this fully professional level. And really, I wouldn't recommend it to any hobbyists, people that just fly for fun, unless you've got the cash to spend and you're somebody that just wants the best of the best. But you know, we've seen like the Mavic Pro always kind of be in that sweet spot. Like it's not necessarily the best drone that DJI sells, but it's also not the worst. So it was like, hey, this is the great sweet spot. Let me buy this drone. And ever since then, we've seen these price increases, right? Original Mavic Pro, $999. Mavic 2 Pro, $1749. It ended up going to after the initial price hike. And now we've got $2,200 for the Mavic 3. So we've kind of seen this evolution of the Mavic continue to be like, DJI's top end drone. And I think that now more than ever, it really is prevalent that the Mavic 3 is for professionals and the Air 2S is for prosumers, right? So the Air 2S is great for somebody that maybe wants to do work professionally, aerial photography and videography, but it's also priced perfectly for the weekend warrior, for the hobbyist that wants a great drone for the money with great flight time, great obstacle avoidance system, great camera, great transmission system. The Air 2S delivers on all of those things. But if you're a professional that demands a larger set, sensor, a ProRes workflow, or let's say better range, better obstacle avoidance sensors, then you go with the Mavic 3. So in my opinion, do I consider the Mavic 3 expensive? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely expensive, but I don't think it's overpriced. I think what it delivers, it's perfectly priced for the professional that's going to be able to pick this drone up and make money with it. And I think that if you look at the specs, it really does tell the tale, right? Being able to shoot in ProRes, being able to use the RC Pro, being able to uh, have, you know, take advantage of the Micro Four Thirds sensor. There's a lot that this drone has to offer that you simply don't get really in any other drone on the market that can fold. So yeah, that's my take on whether it's overpriced or not. Is it expensive? Yes. Is it overpriced? No, because for the professional, it is going to be something they can make back in a day or two because it is going to fit their workflow. So again, Alex, thanks for having me on. And I can't wait to hear what these other guys have to say. My honest opinion, guys, DJI's strategy of constantly overlapping products may have gone a little bit wrong this time. Let me explain this to you. Until November 4, for me, the Mavic 2 Pro was king. And in this channel, I've always defended the Mavic 2 Pro versus the Air 2S very carefully. And all the tests showed that the Mavic 2 Pro was slightly better in image quality than the Air 2S. But after the release of the Mavic 3, the Mavic 2 Pro is just completely gone. It doesn't make sense anymore, nor for the budget, nor for the quality, nor for nothing. And of course now the Air 2S is the best drone value for price. And let's be honest, the Mavic 3 is here to replace the Phantom line, and that's a fact. Us nostalgic people have always hoped for some kind of new Phantom, but I gotta say that at this point I think it's completely dead. And it doesn't really make sense anymore, unless a new Phantom would replace the Inspire line. And here's the game, right? What I mean here, guys, is that the Mavic 3 doesn't make any sense anymore for the occasion traveler or the regular and average consumer. There are way better options, especially if you care about the money, of course. This doesn't mean that the Mavic 3 is a bad drone. In fact, I do believe it's the best consumer or prosumer drone that we have had until this point. Even though a few things are really hard to understand, such as not releasing the drone with its full capabilities or that awful tail lens, but we know that Christmas and Black Friday are the most selling events of the year. So in DJI's balance, what do we do? Should we release an unfinished product? but get the sales from Christmas and Black Friday or should we wait for early next year and um, you know release the drone with its full capabilities and we avoid people being so mad at us they decided to go with the early sales with at some point is kind of understandable. On the other hand, in terms of marketing, I do believe they made a great step. Until last year, it was kind of chaotic for someone that has no idea about drones stepping into the drone world and having all those names like Mavic, Mavic Mini, then only Mini 2, then Air 2, Air 2S, Phantom 4, Phantom 4 Pro V2. It's been simplified now. The name Mavic, which is right now the most powerful resource for DJI, has become the Pro line. Inside the consumer market, of course, it has become the Pro line and there is only the Mavic 3. Mavic 2 Pro is not even in stock anymore. Then we have the Airline, the Air 2S in this case, which hopefully sometime soon will become the Air 3, which would be like the intermediate level, best value for price. And finally, we do have the Mini Line, which is kind of the beginner's uh, entry level for anyone coming new into the world or someone that just wants a drone for some sporadic use. So that's easy and simple for everyone. However, and this is the most important, I do have the feeling that it's the first time that there is an open door for some other brands. I do believe that the 
the gap between the Air 2S priced at $1,000 and the Mavic 3, and the Mavic 3, which is at least 2200 bucks, is way too big. And here's the questions. What would happen if right now Autel would release a drone with a decent Micro Four Third inch camera and all the good specs of these days priced at around 16 to 800 dollars. Exciting times are coming and I of course expect a much more higher priced Air 3 in the future. And of course DJI won't ever let us down. So nothing really else to say guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this type of video. I thought it was interesting to have all these people answering to one single question. Thanks again to every single one of them taking their time, sending in their videos and explaining a little bit something very honest. And remember to sub to all of them, they are nice lads, people that know a lot about drones. So nothing really else to say, I hope that you enjoyed. Leave the thumb if you made it this far, leave a comment, do you agree, don't you agree? And always remember to keep calm and talk UAV.